Dirt and grime not only look bad on your bike, they're bad for your motorcycle's finishes. We'll show you the proper way to deep clean your bike in this video from the MC Garage. When you wash your bike, you're not just making it look good. You're removing dirt and grime and bug guts and corrosive crap that's bad for your bike's paint, chrome, and metal surfaces. So, to get your bike looking good and really clean, you're gonna need a few things. First things first, you are going to definitely need a sponge, two buckets, a general purpose car wash or bike specific cleaner, an old sponge brush for getting in those nooks and crannies, and a chamois or a stack of old towels to dry the bike off when you're done. Just make sure they're clean. Whether you're washing the old fashioned way with a sponge and soapy water, or you're using a more modern spray on rinse off cleaner, your motorcycle has to be cool so the stuff doesn't just steam off. It's also a good idea to wash your bike in the shade so that the sun doesn't dry things out and cause water spots and streaking. The first step is the initial spray down, either with a hose or with your bike specific products. Let the bike soak for a few minutes to soften those exoskeletons and loosen grime. If you're using something like this Bellray bike wash, then you just need to rinse the bike and the cleaning process is supposedly done. But if you've got stubborn grime or if you're using soapy water, then it's time to bust out the sponge and your brush. As for those two buckets, one is for soapy water and the other is just for rinsing your sponge so it stays clean. Here's the concern. Since your bike is dirty, if you keep wiping it down with a dirty sponge, you might scratch or haze your paint. It's important that you wash sections of the motorcycle at a time, starting at the top and working your way down. You should rinse your sponge regularly and you should rinse off sections of the bike with the hose as you go. You can use an old brush to get in around spokes and engine fins and clean other nooks and crannies. And once the bike is good and clean, give it one final thorough rinse with the hose. And whenever you put your sponge or cleaning tools down, set them in the rinse bucket. You don't want to set them on the ground because that's a great way to pick up sand or other grit that might scratch your paint. At this point, you're probably wondering if it isn't just easier to blast your bike with a pressure washer. It is tempting for sure, but you need to be careful with that pressurized stream of water and not direct it at your axles or wheel bearings, your swing arm pivot, your fork seals, or your electrical connectors because that pressurized water could compromise the seals. For a thorough clean, you're really better off washing by hand. All right, with your bike all washed and rinsed, it's time to dry it off. You've got a couple of options here, from using compressed air or a leaf blower to just toweling or shaming the bike down. Again, make sure whatever you're wiping your bike with is clean and grit free. Once you've gotten it blown off or wiped down, it's a good idea to start the bike and let it run to help evaporate any residual moisture that didn't flow out of the drain hole in the muffler. And finally, I never shy away from an opportunity to clean and lubricate the chain. Since the bike has been wet, now is a great time to do that. You might also wanna go the extra mile and wax your paint. It's gonna add extra shine and protect the finish so your bike stays prettier longer. All right, there you go. You got a shiny, beautiful motorcycle and there isn't much more satisfying than that. If you got any questions or comments, you can leave them down below. We appreciate that you guys watched this video. Until next time, ride safe.